Okay, I have launched the uh, Cisco Packet Tracer and we are going to work on the AUX which is the uh, auxiliary. First of course you need to choose a particular router that has an AUX port. Uh, all right. So let me just get this one up. Okay, and I need to make sure that this router actually has a AUX port. So just double click and too small. So zoom in and yep. Okay, so this one have a AUX port. Okay, so first thing you probably would ask, what is it for? Okay, uh, AUX basically means uh, auxiliary basically means outside outside what uh, you can actually uh, connect your AUX port to a modem and then from a modem to that little phone jack in your wall okay this will enable someone okay to call in to the modem connect to your router to do their work uh, of course you do not want anyone to be able to do that that is why we need to set a password for it okay so let's go into the CLI which is your command line interface and uh, okay I'm not going to set the initial configuration so just a quick no and a return and I will get the prompt okay so you have the router prompt uh, over here so the first thing is I need to enable it first go use the enable command all right so I can get the higher privilege okay and you can see it using the hash at the end you can see the hash sign over there the next is the config t command so that I can enter into the configuration so now I'm inside the configuration. So I need to check my AUX first. So look at the line, okay, AUX. And since I, uh, assuming I do not know, or right, assuming I do not have physical access to the router. So I will just put a question mark and it will tell me, oh, there's only one, which is zero. So AUX zero. All right. Uh, remember the numbers that is used in the router usually start from zero. Okay, it doesn't start from one. Okay, so I know that there is a AUX zero. Okay, so hit it, and I am now in the config line, right, router config line because now I'm configuring the line okay first of all let's run a locking let's try and run a locking you're getting an error message locking is disabled which is you cannot lock in or right? this command uh, cannot be executed until password is set so if you want to use this AUX feature or you want to be able to log into the AUX you need to set a password and to set a password actually is a followed by I don't know all right what password do you actually want maybe uh, okay I'll just choose a simple one something like that okay of course uh, for class we can do any simple password but in real life uh, we try to create a complex password that uh, people can guess All right. so now the password is set okay now if you remember just now I tried to do a login but I can't I can't even run the login command and all I get is if they tell me that the login is disabled this login command is disabled but now I have set a password or using the password okay so 
if I were to log in now and if the set password is not done or not done correctly or the password is not set, I will get the error message again. But if the password is set properly, okay, then the login will work. So if I were to type login and hit enter, you do not see the same error message as you see on top here anymore. Right? Why? Because the password is set. That's why the login now is enabled. All right. So this is basically uh, setting a password right, in your AUX.